Okay, uh, part three, I just wanted to show you something real quick. Go to chapter select. Can you remember how I said it kind of shows you a little marker on roughly where in Narnia the chapter took place? Well, let's just kind of go through where they are. Chapter one, Lucy meets Mr. Tumnus right around there. Chapter two, uh, Edmund the White Witch is over there. Th three, four, five, and where we left off is six. Chapter 6, The Long Cold Walk. Okay, so anyway, the story so far, remember, is uh, the other three pensive children, along with Mr. Beaver, are going to go look for Ozon, because only he can help Edmund, while Edmund's about to turn them in. Chapter 6, The Long Cold Walk. Go in and climbing. Help Edmund climb and reach the witch's castle. Press up on the plus control pad near rough walls to climb. Fierce winds will try and push you off the cliff edges. Be careful and watch your body temperature. Edmund, how the hell could you do this to your brothers and sisters? Okay, enable the warmth of heart ability. Because you'll definitely need that. Now, the wind will kind of push you back a little. Oh, and don't climb up this cliff because you'll fall. Because there's nowhere to finish. You, climb, you can climb up in the little rough edges. That's where to show you. And you'll just fall off and get killed, eventually. Oh, and uh, seriously though, <laughs> don't go that way. You know, even move you, like, yourself, a little bit. Because, uh, uh, the wind is so strong that you don't even have to move to, to be moved. <clears throat> and whatnot. You know, hopefully this video won't be as long as part two. But it will be if we ever get over there. Alright, so just climb up on there. Just be careful. Don't let the wind push you off. And just don't forget about the warmth of heart. Because if you do, okay, you can't climb up there. Because if you do forget about the warmth of heart, you're screwed. Okay, this is where we want to climb up. You can't use the warmth of heart while you're climbing. And ooh, look, a fire. So look, I'm not even moving. I'm not even using my finger. Yeah, and he's moving by himself. <sighs> oh yeah, it's a long walk, all right. But if you go that way, it's a short walk. Okay, now down here's a little something, a fire and a cookie. Must fight the wind. Ooh, look, I can see the forest. Sort of. Okay, just one more ledge to climb up. This chapter is pretty short. Kind of like chapter 2 and 1. We're pretty short. Okay, last little ledge you gotta climb. Tell me, Edmund, are your sisters deaf? Your brother unintelligent? Well, I think Peter's dumb, but Mum says he's quite smart. Then how dare you come alone? But I brought them halfway. They're in the beaver house in the river. Now, I don't get why it's daring of Edmund to, bring, to come alone, but maybe because she wants to kill them all. Well, I suppose you're not a complete idiot, then, are you? You're not a complete loss. Take the boy away! Magrum, you know what to do. Bring those traitors to me. Uh-oh. Speaking of which, Chapter 7, Dash to the Tunnels. The witch's wolves are getting closer. Where do we go now? There's an escape tunnel near my house, but they'll follow us there. I have an idea. Take Lucy and warm Miss Beaver. We'll distract the wolves. Are you sure you'll be alright? It's just that you're... Yes, we'll be fine. Go before it's too late. We'll meet you at the house. Let's throw them off the scent. Let's throw off the scent by leading them in circles. Good idea, but we should also look for ways to slow them down. Okay, you'll definitely want the warmth of heart. Use the warmth of heart until it gets to springtime, which is chapter 14. Okay, now we played as Lucy, Peter, and Edmund, but not as Susan yet. So it takes you this long, but you eventually get to play as Susan. But her her weapon's pretty crappy. And kind of like Mr. Tumnus's in chapter one. Ooh, matches. 
through the matches, we have one the heart. Ah! And Mr. Beaver does nothing to help you out. Nose is itching. And because snowballs aren't that powerful, it takes forever to kill a certain enemy. There's an ice ramp right there, you know what that means. Can't go up it, but you'll eventually be find a way to go down at the end of it. You can, you can get this door for you, right? Yeah, but remember, Lucy kicks, um, Edmund punches, Peter uses a stick slash flame stick, and Susan throws snowballs, which somehow can kill him. And she's as fast as Peter when it comes to clearing snow. Oh, here, here's the charging dude. Get him before he charges you. And I'm low on health, so maybe I should, uh, eat a cookie. You know, forget the snow, you can just smash all these icicles over here. And we found nothing, wow, okay. Okay, now I have full health. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Can okay, I notice how Mr. Beaver kind of just leaves you there? Because he's gonna cross this upcoming bridge. I don't know, we may have gone across that ice patch, but... Um, cross the bridge? Boom! I don't think this bridge is very safe. It, it could fall any minute. Just don't look down. Gee, thanks. And look. Oh, look, it's not wobbly anymore. Uh, now, remember Mr. Beaver said look for ways to slow them down? Well, it, as a matter of fact, if you didn't notice it, that rock was one way. I'll show you in just a minute. Okay, so once you get to the end of this area and past the little gray thing, the wolves will come running off the after the bridge. There'll be there'll be the two gray wolves and then two white wolves that get regular that are regular enemies. Um. So yeah, they, they would just come running across the bridge, and when you fight them, there's more of them to fight. So not only does it slow them down, it makes less of them to fight at the end of this chapter. Just push the rock in front of the bridge, and you'll see the rest. Do not let that knight attack you while you're clearing snow, or you'll never get out of here. Of course, if you throw snowballs really close, it'll kill them faster, but here's what I'm talking about, okay? Normally, they just run across the bridge, and there'd be more of them to fight, but since there's a rock there, they gotta go back, but ooh, to the lower pass, quickly. See, like I said, if they did cross the bridge, there'd be more of them to fight. But what uh, what you did is you put a rock in front of it, so one wolf goes to investigate, and he says, Oh, there's a blockage here. We gotta, we gotta find another way around. But then the bridge collapses on him, and the wolf gets killed. So now you have Magrim, the other gray wolf, and the other white wolf to fight. So you, so you slowed him down and took one of them out. And there's another bridge over here, as a matter of fact where you can do the same thing. Ah. Defense. Another lot old bridge? What a horde wardrobe. Isn't there anything? Isn't there another way? No time to waste. We must keep going. I don't know. We got a little time. <laughs> 
Hey, you know, John Carter, the mo that movie just came out yesterday. And the Lorax has been out for a week now. I can move this rock. Okay, you can't go through there. Once again, the bridge is going to collapse on these guys. I had to get over here so quickly. They had to take the other way around. Oh. Not again. Take the long way around. We won't let them get away. And already we're at the area where you fight them. Susan, not that way. They're right on our tails. Uh, no, they're not. We just threw them off. How the hell did they get up here so quickly? They just keep coming. There's no way we can outrun the witch's wolves. I have an idea. Can you keep them away from the ramp for a moment? I'll do the best I can. Keep them busy, but whatever you do, please hurry. And look, the beaver just like, went on the mountain side. How do you get off the ledge like that? It's just a glitch. Hold them up a little longer, Susan. It's our only hope. See, you didn't even go down the ramp. Okay, so what you're doing is you're just throwing snowballs at them, but that doesn't that does like doesn't hurt them at all. So uh, what's the point? Hey, where'd that other one go? Oh, there he is. Eventually, Mr. Beaver's gonna tell you to come over here. See if it does. Susan, come to the bottom of the ramp quickly. Okay, here's our moment. And boom. Traitors, the Queen's Wrath will be swift when we find you. Wonderful, Susan, but we must keep moving. Victory theme. And yeah, I can still walk on the bridge. And uh, yeah, they'll lose quite a bit of time because both of those other bridges are down. And here's where you get on the ice ramp. It's like the only, that's like the last ice ramp in the entire game, so yeah. I've never been so scared in my life. You think we've lost them? They'll certainly lose quite a bit of time retracing their steps. You are brave. Before we join the others, let me give you this. Avon said it would be helpful. Nobility 4 of 8, you've now earned half of your nobilities. Congratulations. Strength of character, this ability grants you the strength to lift and throw small rocks. 13, that's already. Hmm. Chapter 8, Escape to the Enclave. It's awfully dark. I wish Mum were here. At the end of this tunnel is a safe haven. Oh, creature attack. And you also play as Susan, and you play as Susan in this chapter as well. What were those? Bottles. We've taken the tunnels for their, own, for their own, and they hate intruders. Lovely. As if we didn't have enough to worry about. Let's go, everyone. Um, it's warm in here. You don't need your warmth apart in this level, thankfully. Mm -hmm. And after throwing snowballs a bajillion times, it get, it, the sound of them landing on the ground gets annoying. This one's pretty big. Alright. Susan, lift these small rocks using your new strength of character ability. Lift small rocks. So lift the small rocks stand next to it with the strength of character ability equipped. Press and hold the B button to lift the rock. Carry it out of the way. Then release the B button to throw it. 
can just enable that for the entire chapter. We don't need tea in here. I'm gonna go ahead and tell you now. Going this way. Oh my gosh. My arms were on top of the vent and now it's starting to blow air. <laughs> my arm's getting cold. Okay. Anyway, my right arm. Anyway, um, going this way is actually a shortcut the level. But, um, we're not wimps, okay? We're, we're not wimps, so we're not gonna go the short way. We're gonna take the long way around. You know, find any items. And we're missing. Get you stupid boggle, stop hitting me. Tea doesn't restore that much health, but whatever. No, toast doesn't, but tea kind of restores a lot. Toast restores as much as candy, and tea restores as much as cookies. Drinking tea in a cave. Interesting. <clears throat> This is an uncomfortable position I'm sitting on. And there's a load of boggles right there. Okay, now see those rocks placed next to each other? Well, if you walk in, if you walk in this area, over here, two monsters are going to trap you in. Oh my god, what are we going to do? Don't worry, there's a back way out. Oh my gosh. These orange trolls are coming at us. Troll -la 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 -la. Let's go, snowball. Let's go. Die, troll. Boom. And you found Mr. Tonus's book of songs. Book of songs. Songs to play in the panpipes from A Fine Day for Dancing to The Dwarf Afraid of Rocks. See, I told you there's a back way out. We actually come back to this area later on. Those rocks will be separated again and you can still get trapped in here again. Yeah, push it. Okay, there's an interesting enemy over here that performs a fun glitch, but, um, okay, uh, see that knight kind of having a spaz attack right down there? Okay, well, it's because he's stuck on the wall, so, he'll still try and attack you, but when he try and moves south, he kind of gets stuck in the wall. And now the vent is starting to heat up. If you did take that shortcut I told you not to go to, well, that's where you end up, is the room with the night glitch. Okay, there's just a dead end down here. Oop. 
the Devil Rocks. Over here is a load of monsters right around there. And once you get close to this treasure chest and open it up, there's a storm of bottles. And now the vent turned off. And there's a back way out here, not that you get trapped or anything. But. Well, where'd you guys come from? Full oh, hell, poopy. Did you hear that sound? The wolves are in the tunnel. OMG, quickly to the west. And he actually lets you go back to that area over there, but. And it is possible to kind of hit that boggle with snowballs. Without breaking the ice, it is, but. Yeah, there's just a wide array of icicles. Well, come on, the tunnels weren't this big in the movie. That's not a wolf. Well, he looks angry and he's blocking your only way out. Big boggle time. And look, just in case you have any idea of leaving, all of a sudden there's a huge blockade of rocks. Oh, the wolves are getting closer, we're doomed. Don't panic, concentrate on the big boggle, he's your leader. And there'll also be an infinite amount of boggles for you to fight. And yeah, like I said, there's, a, there's like a huge blockade right about there, right there. But along with getting sm the small boggles to help you out, what this big boggle will do is he'll pick up barrels and he will try and throw them at you. Now if he does run out of barrels, he'll just stomp his feet and more barrels will come out out of nowhere. So he has an infinite amount of minions and an infinite amount of barrels. And look, you can walk right through the barrels. You want to hit a snowball, you want to throw a snowball at him while he's holding up a barrel, that's how you defeat him. Throwing ordinary snowballs doesn't do anything. Which shouldn't have done anything at all throughout this entire game. Yeah. There you go. He's dead. I can't believe I really did it. Oh, how splendid, Susan. You saved us. Yes, but no time to celebrate. That ladder is our path of safety. What are you talking about? There's no ladder around here. If you went around the entire room five bajillion times, you'd see no ladder. What are you talking about? Meanwhile, the witch decided to put Edmund in jail. Chapter 9, Edmund in the Witch's Castle. Are you Mr. Tumnus? What's left of him? You're Lucy's brother, are you? Is she alright? 
My police tore the beaver's home apart, but your family was nowhere in sight. Are you sure? You look under everything. This is no Monopoly game, child. Where do they go? Well, the beaver said something about Aslan. Aslan, where is he? Tell me everything you know. He's a stranger here, your majesty. You can't expect him to know about Aslan. Silence. Do you know why you're here, Fawn? Because I believe in a free Narnia. Because, no. You're here because he turned you in. For candy. Jinnabark, bring the fawn. I'll deal with the child later. I wonder what the witch will do to my family when she finds them. That's all for now.